what up guys nakamoto crypto here i know the entire cryptocurrency market is down even the sec is bringing down the hammer on crypto in general and also DeFi. today i'm gonna show you what to do and what not to do this is just based on me being in crypto for the past five years recognizing these patterns and bloody days like this stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to it so bitcoin dropped all the way down to thirty thousand dollars today it's not just bitcoin i mean the s p 500 nasdaq all of these major companies are suffering or struggling and this is simply due to fed policies and regulations coming into crypto there's a lot of fear into the market right now and also institutional investors must be dumping even michael Celia tweeted this funny meme i know you've seen it on the thumbnail so this is my Caselia simply tweeting this funny meme stating that Monday morning is it time to go back to work. My Caselia going back to McDonald's, this is going to be the funniest thing ever. Obviously it is a joke, this guy is a billionaire and he holds a ton load of Bitcoin. People are worried that his company might get liquidated the lower Bitcoin goes. But what they do not realize is that way back in 2020, I've covered my Caselia in multiple videos this guy bought bitcoin at literally twelve thousand dollars so he's not going anywhere anytime soon and you best believe that based on history today i'm going to show you that btc has never ever dropped below its previous all-time highs what do i mean by that bitcoin back in 2013 during the first or second bitcoin bull market bitcoin peaked in november or december of 2013 at around thirteen hundred dollars and then it dropped back down to like $200. Bear market for the next two, three years, all the way up to January of 2017, when Bitcoin for the first time hits $900 again. What did Bitcoin do? A few months after that, around February, Bitcoin hits $1,300 again. New all-time high since 2013, four years previously. Now, once Bitcoin hit $1,300, it never went back below its previous all-time high which was $1,300 back in 2013. So in 2017 when Bitcoin came back up from $200 to $1,300 it never went back under $1,300. It just carried on going all the way up peaking at $20,000 that year which is December of 2017. And here comes Bitcoin again, dropping back down, this time back down to about 85%. And that was exactly in March of 2018. What happened in March of 2018? Well, China bans Bitcoin. That was the news all over. And that caused enough panic for everybody to sell Bitcoin. In a bloody day, Bitcoin dropped from like 7,000 all the way down to $3,100. After BTC bottoms at $3,100, remember, the peak of 2017 was Bitcoin at $20,000. Fast forward, in 2019, Bitcoin hits 14 k comes back down in March of 2020. That was the second bloodiest day. Just like today, I'm giving you a history. So today is nothing compared to March of 2018. Today is also nothing compared to March of 2020. What happened in March of 2020? Bitcoin dropped from 9,000 all the way down to $3,200. And this was a perfect opportunity and a perfect buy. This is when I was picking up altcoins like Cardano at two cents. This is when I was buying dogecoin at literally 0 0.001 and buying like hundreds of thousands of dogecoin for just a few hundred dollars which benefited me in 2021 this is what i was saying that bloody days like this is a perfect opportunity for you to be getting in to pick up some cheap altcoins now right now it's still not the bottom i feel like we're still gonna go down a little bit further but you best believe that my point is that BTC Bitcoin will never go back under its previous all-time highs, which means I don't see Bitcoin going below $20,000. It can drop as low as twenty-five to 26 thousand from these levels right here. But based on history, Bitcoin never dropped below its previous all-time highs. If it does, it'll be a very first time. This is the safe bet, safest route that I'm taking on days on bloody days like this. This is when you can pick up some cheap altcoins 
but also pick up some cheap blue chips this is the days where you're gonna want to get out of altcoins that everybody calls so-called shit coins because they suffer the most if bitcoin drops five percent look at this xrp is down eight percent dogecoin is down a nine percent shiba inu is down six percent so if bitcoin drops altcoins drop even lower unfortunately so if you have some cash on hand this is no financial advice now is the time to be greedy while others are fearful i've seen days like this happen many many times in the crypto market and almost every single time instantaneously the crypto market recovers when we had the pandemic back in march of 2020 everything was red it was black thursday that's what they called it back then and this is when i was buying cardano at literally two cents more than a hundred thousand ada you pick up for just a few thousand dollars and that benefited me that is why i'm a major cardano enthusiast to this day because cardano is the coin that actually made me see six figures back in 2021 and that speaks volume if the market is like this that's why I was telling you a few weeks ago when I was doing my scam, this scam that series that now is the best time to increase your position in cash. This is what I meant. And that was to wait for the market to drop a, a bit further so you can pick up on coins and tokens that have been here for so many years that you can benefit from instead of chasing HYIPs that potentially have the needs and the luxury to just rug pull you so it's the best time to just be cautious and increase your position into cash you can pick up these blue chips for really really cheap because long term these are the companies that are gonna last you know ethereum binance coin uh, bnb cardano and all of these other entities they are going to be regulated and this brings me to the sec right here DeFi is in trouble big big trouble the sec just dropped this bomb here on the entire cryptocurrency market they said they are now nearly doubling the size of enforcement of crypto assets and this is their cyber unit sec had a cyber unit of like 10 units back in 2017 they are adding an additional 20 units into this increasing their position to like 60 units now that will go after these separate entities into the cryptocurrency market and this is how they are dividing it crypto asset offerings they will go after them any ico that was bogus ICOs that was done i told you guys you can't just be printing money in crypto forever thinking everything is cool you know they are they are coming after you 100 percent all of these APYs, you know, uh, people promising to pay you two, three, four, five percent a day, all of this crap. They are coming after, they bringing down the hammer. Crypto asset exchanges, the SEC will go after them as well. Um, anybody who had initial exchanges, exchanges that were bogus, SEC is coming. Crypto asset lending and staking, you know, um, um, Solana, Cardano. Cardano might escape this, in my opinion, because cardano had their ico way back in japan which is completely outside of the sec and the u.s jurisdictions this was very very smart of Haskinson to do he held that initial ico public offering uh, back in japan instead of the u.s and that's because he knew something like this was gonna happen sooner or later the regulators will come and bring down the hammer on these companies so cardano might escape this but solana in particular with vcs if you all know when i made this video about solana last year venture capitalist just stormed into solana and they bought it at pre-sale for very very cheap they literally flipped it dumped the market on everybody and they still control almost 40 percent of solana holdings out there they can stake they can do whatever they want with that unfortunately with solana that's why all the other groups are just calling solana centralized it doesn't mean any, that it's anything bad but you have to admit if vcs venture capitalists who are these rich guys who invest into early projects they get in early before everybody else at a cheap discount and then they flip it and sell at high prices to make profits um, if they usually get into your project you might want to look into it because usually they control a large amount of these projects and solana is controlled by vcs that's why everybody's saying solana is centralized so 
Solana staking, you know, all of these staking protocols, doesn't matter if it's VeChain, you know, Terra Luna, whatever, um, the SEC is coming. They are going to pound. As soon as they finish with XRP, now they don't even have to be done with XRP. They are increasing their units so they can accelerate this thing. 2022 is the year of regulations and they are going to be coming after everybody. Look at this right here. Right after lending and staking products, the SEC will come after DeFi, yes, decentralized platforms. And this is a warning to the Drip Network, Elephant Money, uh, I don't know, Titano, Safu, all of these other ones um, that the SEC is coming. They're going to come and ask you, hey, how are you able to pay people this much, for example? How did you launch your ICO? How did you, you know, release these tokens? And how are you able to print this much money to give to these people? So... Yes, DeFi will be regulated and that will be a good thing long term for the little guy because the little guy always suffers. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of hacks and scams that happened in DeFi lately. Some of the ones are still standing, but there's a lot of them that are down and people lose money and they don't have nowhere to run, nowhere to cry on besides just complaining and then we'll move on these devs they get away with it this is what pisses me off about these things elephant uh, exploit and all of this stuff um instead of you know paying people their money back they just tell you hey man we're gonna relaunch v2 or i fix the thing now it's back and running but everybody else's investments is down because they lost money on the exploit they don't have money to give you back and all of this stuff needs to be weeded out of the DeFi space so we can finally have peace we can finally have legit projects out there so we can make some money right after DeFi platforms is the nfts non-fungible tokens if you guys noticed OpenSea, one of the major nft platforms is always getting accused of insider trading and all of these guys like bitboy have covered this before and it's it's true you know open sea have employees that have been flipping nfts and, and just scamming people out of them for a while now you know there was a guy last year this story broke big he was one of the nft insiders and he got caught doing insider trading on nft and they just fired him that, that's it he didn't get any you know punish any type of punishment and that the sec will change that once they come after these major uh, nft platforms so be careful trading on these major nft platforms you know like wearable um, and open sea and that they're not going to escape that too they're going to get hammered and then after that you have the stable coins look at what happened yesterday with the terra luna uh, plunging down 14 percent briefly because of what an exploit or coordinated attack they claimed a stable coin that's supposed to stay at a dollar all of a sudden dropped down to like 98 cents and luckily though this was not bank teller stable coin that <laughs> that drops down to 78 cents these guys were backed by heavy heavy liquidity so soon as it dropped liquidity replaced it automatically and it comes back up from 98 cents back up to a dollar so terra ust if you are trading it be extra cautious you might want to just stick with tether or usdc or the stable coin that is being used in um, Binance that, those ones are safe because um, the companies behind them are well established and they are good to go so this was the take on the overall market of what to do and what not to do what not to do is just don't panic sell do not panic sell when the market is down like this if you don't want to panic buy don't panic sell just stay in your lane and just wait it out this will recover you see Bitcoin is already back up to like $31,000 or something like that at the time of this video. Do not panic buy, do not panic sell if you fear. Don't let p other people influence you to just sell and run away from the market. And yeah, times like this, take the history of March of 2018. People would tell you exactly what happened back then and also take the history of two years later at March of 2020. People would tell you what happened. So we are in May of 2022 um the halving is not until 2024 you have until then to dollar cost average look i've been buying ethereum classic like crazy guys look at this it's at 24 dollars right now i've already accumulated a lot of ethereum classics because if ETH 2.0 becomes successful and it happens a lot of people don't realize this is not a fork of ethereum ethereum classic is the original ethereum ethereum classic is 
the original Ethereum chain, EVM compatibility, everything is in there. Ethereum as it was born at its, in its pure form is Ethereum Classic. And the few things I like about Ethereum Classic is that every bull market since its inception, it somehow hits new all-time highs. Back in 2017, Ethereum Classic started the year in January at around $4 and ended the year to around $55 back in November of 2017. Fast forward four years after that, 2021, Ethereum Classic again started the year at around $7 and peaked at $176. Look at this guys, from $7 to $176 by April. So what do you think Ethereum Classic gonna do after the halving of 2024? So every bull market, I have my picks, coins that will always instantaneously outperform these things so ethereum classic coins like cardano some of these blue chips will outperform the others and this is how you make your money increase your positions into these now your other dgen plays they are funny bnb miners eight percent daily whatever uh titanos uh, finance and all of these other ones and uh, times like this those ones would be bad you see the price of the drip network for example going down and all the other ones so the riskier plays that in in DeFi, every time bitcoin gets hit up the rest of the market is bloodied up world current events all kinds of madness going over there risk of nuclear weapon things like that happen then your DeFi's and your high risk plays will bleed down even further and this is what's going on in the market right now like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out